What's up, crows? Scarecrow here with Fast Track Gaming, bringing you another Halo related video today, guys. In this one, we're going to be looking at three of the rarest achievements in Halo Reach. Guys, before we start the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It allows me to know that you enjoy the video and you want to learn more of the rarest achievements in Halo Reach. Also, guys, comment down below what achievements are you going for? The first achievement we're going for is did you major in marine bio and it requires you to encounter the hidden marines on exodus start exodus and progress through it as you would normally take on reach's huge pool of enemies and get into this huge open room here it suggests to you that you need to get a jetpack if you fall along the catwalk into the end of the hall you find a room with four jetpacks make sure to grab one after grabbing a jetpack Fight your way through the rest of the level until you come to the part where it requires you to clear off the heather pad. Once you have showed the brute you are the best MC Hammer, wait for the Falcon to arrive. After you have successfully completed the Falcon ride, hop into the Warthog and head along the left side of the beach. Be sure to avoid all the race in your way. Make your way to the very end of the beach as you see in the video. This is where it gets kind of tricky. You want to slowly jetpack your way onto this part of the cliff. As you can see, a 10 second timer pops up. But once you successfully land on the cliff, the timer goes away. From here, you want to slowly jetpack once again all the way to this other part of the cliff. As you can see in the video, I land over in the corner and the timer goes away and I survive. If you land anywhere else in this water, for the most part, you'll die. Once your jetpack is fully restored, jetpack onto the other part of the cliff. Now from here, this actually gets pretty easy. You want to jetpack along this cliffside all the way until you get to this building structure. Jetpack your way all the way up to the roof of this building. Head straight until you're able to drop down to the floor below. You want to follow this path all the way around and jetpack all the way across this gap to the other part of the building. Like I said before, it's actually pretty straightforward from here. You want to move along this building all the way until you find a grassy path. I have sped up the grassy area since it is pretty straightforward and it's actually a pretty long run. Once you have made yourself to this structure area here, once again, jetpack up to the floor. As you can see, once you have made your way here, even though you don't see any Marines, the achievement will pop. And congratulations guys, you have just majored in Marine Bio. The next achievement is Classic Completion. It requires you to complete Exodus without using any armor abilities. So once again, starting up Exodus, progress through the mission as you normally would. But wait, there's a twist! This time, do not use Sprint and do not use Jetpack. So, the enemy encounters are still fairly the same. Kill millions of grunts, kill the jackals, and kill the brutes. But, it's when you once again come to this open room that it gets a bit more tricky. Since the game is wanting you to use the Jetpack, I see two options. We can rather use the Green Gun to take out the Banshee fly it across, or the much harder way, grabbing that hammer from earlier, using it to launch ourselves up the catwalk and making our way all the way through. And since we are professional gamers, we will go with the banjo, not uh, the hammer. And trust me, I did not die 10,000 times in this part. Liar. Alright, once you are finally kissing this floor because you have reached it, you have finally pretty much beat this level because the rest of it, you really don't need any jetpack or sprint to complete. Actually, Scarecrow, you need the hammer and the grenades once again here as there are no stairs to traverse up each level. Thank you, smart version myself. You are correct. Just once again, take on the many enemies the race, 
you can once again hop into the Warthog, it will not affect anything, it is just complete the level without using armor bits. Since it does require you to complete the level, you do have to play all the way through it, unlike our previous achievement. But once you finally get to the end guys, that beautiful achievement pops up, guess what? You completed this level classically. And the last achievement for this episode guys is Capacious Cartography. And it requires you to create a custom map using Forge World. So even though this seems fairly simple, it is rare considering the game just released. It has about a 2% uh, completion rate on true achievements. So make sure to hop into Forge World or if you're like me, hop into Hemorrhage and place in that one mongoose that this level just seems to be lacking. And don't be like me and expect the achievement to pop here, but once you go to save, it will show up. And guys, there you have, you are now a capacious cartographer, and I have to admit, I have no idea what capacious is, or if I'm even correctly pronouncing it. I mean, that one time called Hemorrhage, Hemorrhage, so, potato potato it all tastes the same guys that will be all for this video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe hit that bell so you can be one of the first to know exactly when we upload and guys like i said this will be episode one if it does well i will make more episodes showing how to unlock those rare achievements in halo reach and quite possibly for the other games once they release on pc and guys like always god bless and don't Forget the white.